All I'm tryna let you know It's obvious by now But girl, I'm telling you That it's okay Watching that body go From head to toe I know I get the best of you You, you remind me of you You remind me of you You remind me of so Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new video all about this wig that I got from Herge Van Hair. This is the Curls Always Poppin' unit straight out of the box. I just put it on my mannequin head. So this is the box that it comes in and yeah, it's a nice pull-out box. Very nice actually. And you get a pamphlet. So this pamphlet is going to have all the information on how to style the hair, you know, how to take care of it, co-wash it. You also get an elastic strap and some clips. Y'all know I love Khaled, okay? So, <laughs> this is the information. You could pause it and look at the lengths. It's the curly texture, so 3B, 3C texture, 16 inches in length. So, of course, I'm co-washing it because that's kind of the first thing you want to do when you get a wig is make sure to co-wash it so that you can really activate the true texture of the wig because when it comes straight out of, the, out of the box, you don't really get the true texture the, the true curls you know so i'm just co-washing it and this is it after i've co-washed it now i'm applying some product and i attempted to do a wash and go and so this is my first time guys keep in mind styling a wig ever in my life it was really difficult like i've worked with hair given hands curly texture before and um for their clip and extensions it was a lot easier but for this time around it was really difficult to get the wash and go to look how i wanted it to it was just really frizzy in my opinion and what i did here was diffuse the hair which i feel like i should not have done i should have probably just left it to air dry and it probably would have been better but i just got really frizzy results and i was so frustrated like styling this unit because I just couldn't get it to look the way I wanted it to as you can see here the curls look good because this is good hair like the hair texture itself is good but for some reason I just had the hardest time styling it to get it to look good it just looked to me like like a wig it looks so wiggy and I was not feeling it at all y'all so I had to go off camera honestly and try to fix it because like you like you see here I look like Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg like it's not a look it's not a look sis so after some hours of playing with it i finally got it to look right and i couldn't get everything on camera because i was just trying my hardest so i'm so sorry um i did put the elastic band on the wig so that helped me secure it a lot better and this is what it looks like now as you can see the curls look so much more natural the, the definition is on fluke the bangs are good like the part it just looks so much better oh my god so much more natural <laughs> so yeah i'm just securing the clips and the headband and just fixing it making it look you know more natural and i'll talk to you guys um at the end of the video after i apply the wig to let you guys know like what i had to do to style it and what were the complications that i faced and all that stuff and now i'm just of course using a pick comb just to give me some more volume and yeah that's it i was really happy after i was able to get it right so i'll talk to you guys about about that you know coming up now Hey guys, so this is just me checking in to, you know, give you guys some more details about the wig after, you know, the styling process, me having it on and everything and just what I think now, how I feel and I like how the process was. You know, do I think it's worth the money, all that good stuff. So, as you would know, of course, I big chopped. So I got 
I got some hair now and um, to me it was just a really great way to be able to have the best of both worlds and I definitely felt like going natural before I did something straight was I don't know just the route that I wanted to take I do want to try like straight wigs and stuff like that hopefully in the future but we'll see how it goes so her given hair sent me this unit you know to try to review and to just like give my opinion and to show you guys I will first start with the price because I feel like that is like a very important detail so this wig is 369 US which is expensive <laughs> so I wanted to start off with that because I don't want nobody to come for me in the comments like really expensive yeah it's expensive so it's like yikes that's why I want to give you guys a really honest review to let you know and decide for yourself if it's worth the money I cannot tell you if it's worth the money because some people might straight up think it's way too expensive for a wig you know they could get something cheaper some people might feel like you know the quality and everything is worth it I have worked with hair given hairs clipping extensions before so I have a understanding and idea of how their hair is in terms of the quality and I got my clippings in 2016 and I still have them to this day and they're still good like they're still sa the same quality and everything so that's almost two years not two years as yet but almost two years so I feel like this hair will last me a good while regarding the shedding so when I got this hair it was perfectly fine it didn't shed before I washed it of course but then of course as I was, as I was washing it and I think it's because of the texture you have to detangle it and it gets a little rough because you know you have to detangle through the curls and everything like that so it will shed for sure I wouldn't say it's excessive shedding but it is shedding like it's not like oh no it's like barely there no like you get shedding but when it's on my head like during the day when I'm wearing it and stuff I don't experience any shedding it's only when I wash the hair or when I'm like combing it or styling it or whatever but after that it's fine like the styling that's what I want to talk about the most because I feel like that is the biggest issue I had with this hair because I feel like the hair quality is great like the curls are popping as you can see but it didn't come easy so when I first got this unit I was watching a few other girls and their videos on how they did everything and the reason why I can even film my entire styling process is because I really like had the most difficult time trying to figure out how to like style this unit and have it look I'm really particular about hair like I can't know guys like if it's not popping if it's not good I cannot do it to myself so I just needed to make sure this wig looked like my hair I'm sorry but it needed to look like my hair okay <laughs> so this is a lace closure as you would have seen in the clips before so for the actual lace part I put foundation on the inside because that was the best way to get it to look like my scalp and it did a pretty good job I would say with just putting foundation you can bleach it if you want I don't feel like I need to do all that this is good enough for me it looks like my scalp I think I would assume yeah but when I got this wig I put it on my head and I was like okay yeah I know I need to you know customize it cut it to my the shape of my head cut the bands and everything but honestly styling it was just the hardest part like at first I tried to do like a wash and go and just kind of like detangle with my Denman brush and I thought the curls would have like easily kind of be defined but I would say this these curls are not like that easy to define I'm sorry but when I first tried it I used my curl enhancing smoothie and some water and I was just trying a bunch of things and the curls were just not like doing what I wanted it to do and I was just having a tricky time with it for like the first two days on the third day I did a twist out and it looked so good I will insert like maybe like a clip hair or something for you guys to see it looked so good like it looked amazing I was really happy with it but that didn't come easy either because I had to cut it in a particular shape like to me the bangs were too full and I had to like pluck out some of the hair and the bangs and I just had to like try to get it to look more natural because honestly the top hair where the bangs are just weren't natural enough like they were just too much and it was looking like away like i want a fool somebody's son like jeez <laughs> somebody's son needs to be fooled by this wig thank you but all in all i was able to honestly i was really scared that i would have to come on here and tell you guys that this wig is just not popping because of the cut and just 
it's so much hair it's so dense and I feel like that should be a good thing but to me I thought it was a little bit too dense if that makes sense so I had to really cut it and add layers especially in the back add layers to the side most definitely and just get it to lay properly but once I was able to do that as you guys can see it was ship popping and I'm so happy that I took some time with this before I came on here because I really wanted to give this wig a fair chance I didn't want to just be like mm, it sucks I tried I failed like no I wanted to be like you know what I actually tried I actually did what I could do and because I took time with it it's 10 out of 10 in terms of the way it looks and how I feel about it now on my head and everything so I tried to wash and go again last night. I left it to dry outside because my room has AC so it's cold. And having natural hair myself, I know how natural hair works. Like you don't want to mix temperatures. So you don't want to wash your hair in like warm water and then come and try to style it in like a really cold room because the hair cuticles would be closed and the product wouldn't soak in. The hair would not like style well. It would kind of just be stiff. So I went outside where it was a bit warmer and I styled it and I left it outside to dry. Outside meaning like in my living room, not like outside in my, my yard or anything. And um, because I did that, it was... So these are the results of the washing I did last night. So this is first day here. It looks so good. The curls are literally popping out of control. If you guys want me to do like a detailed styling my wig video, I will do that showing you guys exactly how I did it, what I did. But like I said, I was so like iffy about this wig that I didn't want to like, you know, film it without knowing what would, you know, come of it. To me, it was just about like trying to finesse, making it look right and everything. My peeps on Instagram seem to love this wig. I, I literally got so many DMs asking me like, where did you get your wig? Where did you get your wig, sis? Like, I like your wig. <laughs> so thank you. But um, yeah, it's her given, it's her given hair. So because this wig is so popping right now and I just love it, I could wear it in a twist start. I could even do a braid out, like I haven't tried that yet but I could um, and I could do wash and goes and stuff. I definitely think this wig is A1. Is it worth the money? Honestly, I don't know if I would spend 300 on something US on this wig but again, it's up to you if it's in your budget, if you can do it. Um, not that I don't know if I would spend the money because it's not good and the hair is not good, but it's just like I don't have 300 and something US to just, you know, spend on a wig. Like, unless it's something that I'm really like investing in because um, I don't know, I might really want a wig to protective style all the time and stuff like that. So that's a totally personal decision that you have to decide, but I could only give you the specs and like what I think. I think that this wig is gonna last me a really long time. I think that I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it because it's so pretty. Like, I literally feel like this could be my hair. I do recommend, if you're trying this wig for the first time, put the elastic band on. Unless it fits you, like, snug and perfectly without it, put it on, sis. Like, when I don't have this on, it's so easy to just scalp. You could scalp me. But when, as soon as I sewed it on, I just felt so much better about it. Like I felt so much more confident because it felt snug, it felt secure. Like I didn't feel like it was just gonna go with the go with the wind. You know? <laughs> I think that's it. I I really like this way, guys. I really do. I just, I mean, honestly, the con is just that it did take so much to get it to look like this. But I feel like now that I've gotten it down, I don't have to do anything else. Like I feel like from now on for the rest of the duration of this wig's life um, I'm not gonna have to do that much except now I have a better way to do the wash and go are y'all trying to see like more wig videos y'all want to see more you know weaves and I don't I've never had a weave before but you know I don't if you're new to my channel subscribe if you want to see more videos and give this video a thumbs up it really helps me out and I will see you guys in my next one bye love drops she remind me of Soka. I ain't never trying to control her. Stay, she miss me. Tell her baby, come over. Kick back and we sip yak on the sofa. Ain't no waste time thing, just so you know. Oh, I stay down ten toes. You ain't used to these things, and girl, I know.